Hello everyone, this is Lydia and today I'd like to share with you my altered box and I used my winnings from Cynthia Luhu um, to create um, this project and um, I used a lot of um, the goodies from Carla's uh, 001 Etsy store that Cynthia um, included in the giveaway. So the box itself I purchased at um, a thrift store and I paid $1.06 for it. The top was metal and the bottom was wood. I was gonna leave the wood color, but um, it didn't look right, so I covered it with paper. The papers I used were the Prima Fairy Bell um, collection, and I used a combination of the papers that um, Cynthia sent me and Karen, JB Lady Scrapper 48. Um, the flowers were all given to me in racks by Karen, JB Lady Scrapper 48. Um, Steph, she's Brown Baby Craftaholic. And also Trudy, she's Trudy Craig, here on YouTube. Thank you, ladies, for sharing your goodies with me. And the first thing I did was I painted the metal piece, but I don't have any gesso to use as um, a primer. So I just had painted it in a brown, and I didn't like the way it looked. And then I was thinking, wow, if I only had some alcohol inks, I could spray it, but I don't have any. So I went to my computer and bought some. <laughs> I bought some alcohol inks for the first time, but... um. I didn't have the patience to wait for them to come in the mail, so I just went ahead and covered the um, the box with the papers from um, the Prima Fairy Bell. And the inks that I used were Vintage Photo, and I used the Broken China. So those are the inks I used. So I covered the top with paper and I inked it up, you know, inked, uh, distressed the edges. And this is the first time I'm using one of these frames from Michaels. And I distressed the top with um, the vintage photo. And I wanted this to be a working frame, so I um, lifted it up on double-sided tape that I get from Scrapbook. It looks like this. And it's pretty thick. So I used this to lift my um, frame, and then I made like a little pull here. So that um, the recipient can um, just use that as a template and cut out her photo and then she can tuck it back in here. And what I did was I used a, um, a wild orchid craft leaf and this tiny little rose that Karen sent me in a rag. Thank you, Karen. So I did that and then I um, did my arrangement, which I always struggle, struggle with, but um, I think it turned out pretty good. I used... Um, a um, slider buckle and flat back pearl from Beauty Bomb Bomb Creations. And then this flower I believe I got from Karen. Then I have some smaller ones and I used my Sizzix leaf um, dye to um, add these leaves here. I have some more flowers. I have a little glass bead and some more flowers. This little cute little bird from Carla's um, Etsy store. And here's a gardenia. And then I added a little acrylic butterfly right here. I don't know if you can see it. So that's what I did on the top. And then I surrounded the, um, the top in this beautiful trim from um, Carla's Etsy store. And this is like um, a gathered or pleated um, ruffle trim. And then I added some Cynthia Luhu bling all the way around. That's a pretty blue. That's what I did there. And I used a butterfly kisses um, crystal flower right here on the front. And then on the side here, I have a large gardenia that Steph sent me in a rag. Thank you, Steph. So that's that. I added some coordinating paper here from the collection and then I have some of the uh, polka dot large polka dot print paper up here and I um, covered the bottom in brown felt so that's the top and the sides of the box and then I just love that image with the fairy then for the inside of the box again I covered it with paper on the sides and I added this um, four inch rosette trim and I think this is the brown and turquoise I might be wrong but it's brown and it has beautiful blue shimmery tint to it 
And I added another rose flower in the corner here and a tiny bit of trim that I received in a rack from Steph. Thank you, Steph. And then I created some tags in here. Let me get them out. Oh, I added a little strip of pearl in here. I don't know if you can see it. My lighting is really poor today. It's cloudy. So I made a pocket with the rosette trim that turned out really cute. And then I took one of the um, Fairy Bell um, journaling cards and I folded it in half so she can add a photo here. She can add a photo in the back if she wishes. And then on the inside, I um, used my script stamp and I used Lindy's embossing powder in, this one is called Lapis Lazul, Lazuli. Blue gold. It's a beautiful color. So I did my script stamp and I did the embossing and then right here is a stamp from Prima that Karen sent me in a rag. Thank you, Karen. And she can journal on there. So that tucks into the pocket. And then here's another piece from the Prima Bell collection. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, Fairy Bell. And um, I just stamped an image there, a little bird cage. And again, I used my um, Lindy's embossing powder. So that's cute. That tucks in there. And then here's a tag I created with the collection. It has that beautiful fairy. And I used this little bit of trim that I received in a rack from Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. And then on the back, I inked it up with the um, distress stains, distress inks. There's a little um, admit one, one um, stamp that I used and I embossed it again with the Lindy's. And then I have a little Prima flower here that I received in the, uh, in the winnings. And I just added a little um, charm here that says beauty. And I have that on a little Tim Holtz garment pin. So that's that tag. That turned out super sweet. So that tucks in there. As you can see, more papers, and then I lined the bottom with the brown felt. So that's it, ladies. That's my project share for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Post a comment if you wish and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.